assalamu alaikum beautiful people where we can provide lapping length and beam means where is the best place and beam to provide lapping length this is the topic for today as you can see in the figure these two are columns and this is the beam now at the top portion which is compression zone where is the best place to provide lapping length this is bottom portion okay tension tension zone where is the best place to provide at the bottom lapping length clear why we provide lapping length because the standard length of steel rod is 12 meter to increase 12 meter length of steel rod to get required length we overlap one steel rod to another to get required length or design length so let's start if this topic is helpful for you so you may like this video and you may subscribe this channel when i upload any video to this channel you will get notification first bell icon is important to press so let's start guys as we discussed in many videos the bending moment is maximum at the mid so here you will get the graph same like this right so this is the mid so the diagram is not correct so let me like this sorry for this okay so this is positive bending moment and this is negative bending moment right remember guys an is Thirteen nine two zero two thousand three and class number six point two six. Right? That the lapping length should not be provided at the joint so these are joint okay joint mean this is the column and this is the beam so the lapping length should not be provided at the joint if that is compression zone or tension zone right so now where is the best place to provide lapping length remember for top portion for top portion as you can see here and here l by 3 this is L by 3, this is L by 3, and this is L by 3. The leaping length should be provided at the top portion from this mid, because bending moment is 0 at the mid. Therefore, the leaping length should be provided at this distance. Okay? So the leaping should be provided here or here. Okay, the one steel rod should be overlap with another, but here at this at these positions, okay, this is the zone to provide lapping length at the top and compression zone. But this is not the place to provide lapping length. Here you can't provide. This is in IS 1392, class number 6.26. Okay, so here you can't provide lapping length at these points. Only L by 3 distance you can provide okay now come to the bottom section where is the best place to provide lapping length also guys you can use a formula which is l to, sorry which is 2d for lapping length uh, for lapping length so the place to provide lapping length 2d where d is effective depth of beam you can see this is the beam depth okay so from this top to these are steel rods you can see so you will subtract from here to the center for example the effective depth of this beam is for example 300 mm for example 300 
mm right the effective depth which is from the top to the steel rod center the concrete cover and half steel rod dia should be subtract okay so for example this is 300 and total is for example which is about 350 for example so this should be minus and the effective depth is 300 so here 300 the formula is 2 multiply 300 so you will get 600 mm okay so here guys remember from here because here you can't provide the lapping length also at the junction you can't provide the lapping length so from here 600 mm from 600 mm okay after this place and l by 3 distance so this is the zone after 600 mm from this side and also after 600 mm okay so also this is not the place to provide lapping length also here at the bottom you can't provide the lapping length but this is the place to provide lapping length at the bottom but for top portion here this is the place to provide the lapping length so this is the lapping zone at the top to provide to uh, to provide lapping one steel uh, to overlap one steel rod to another at the top because at the junction for top and also for bottom you can't provide lapping length this you can see or you can check in class number 6.26 in is 13920 2003 okay so at the bottom l2 uh, by 2d formula where you can get the effective depth multiply 2 you will get if the effective depth is for example 400 so 400 multiply 2 800 so there i have the effective depth 300 so therefore 300 multiply 2 after 600 you will provide the lapping length okay so guys this is the very important and helpful video to provide lapping length where is the best place okay because here this is the support also this is the support okay so it can resist but here we don't have the support so therefore be careful to provide lapping length okay so what should be the length of lapping length so for the tension especially for the beam i will tell you the lapping length should not be less than 50 d we are ds die of steel rod okay minimum it should be 50d so 60d you can also take but don't go more than 60d so 50d i recommend you 50d is best to provide the length of lapping length and where is the best zone i've already discussed the front the front of you and at the bottom these are not the place at the top this is the place and this is not the place to provide because in many videos i have already discussed okay so here no sorry for this maybe i did okay so after l by 4 distance you can say or after 2d formula you can provide the lapping length this is the place i hope you learned something new in this video thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye